And so I put that student, so I'd gotten him calm, you know, and then we put him, I put him in the headset and we reviewed the video. And actually it happened by happen chance one time I was filming in a kindergarten classroom with a 360 camera for some of the student teachers that I was going to be working with. And they had only had high school experience. And so I was going to give them an experience of being in a kindergarten classroom because it's very different. And, and one of the kids punched another kid. And so they, you know, they asked me because I, you know, worked with behavior. And so I, you know, brought the kid out and I was talking to him and stuff. And I was like, well, you know what? I was filming. Let's see if, you know, if, if I got that. And so we did. And so I put that student, so I'd gotten him calm, you know, and then we put him, I put him in the headset and we reviewed the video and I said, all right, well, go ahead, you know, look around, you know, what do you see? And, and we did. And then it got to the point where, um, what happened was the other kid had bumped into his shoes and they were his new shoes and he didn't want him to get scuffed. And so I said to him, I said, well, what happened? You know, he hit my shoes. I said, well, let's go back. Let's look at him. I was like, was he even looking at you? And he's like, oh no, it wasn't. It was an accident. I said, okay, well, I said, what could we have done? Look around you, do you, you know, look to your right. And like, but when, when the kid had hit, when he had hit the shoes in the video, because his he thought it was he was really back there, it got him back into that mindset. He got mad. He he balled his fists up again. And so when his brain was firing like that, I was able to talk to him about a different decision in the moment. Because everybody makes the right decision when they're calm. And then when we went back into the classroom, I was not going to make him apologize because I think I think it's meaningless to apologize if you don't mean it. I will have them say things like, I won't, um, I'm sorry, I hurt you, or like, I'll work to not do that again. But I'm not just gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hit you because he wasn't sorry he hit him. And so I think it's meaningless. But we went back in and unprompted. I hadn't even talked to him yet. He went up and he's like, I'm sorry I pushed you. Sorry I hit you. And I was like, okay. Yeah. It's that ability to be able to put him back in that moment. And, and obviously for the kids, it's good too. Because he, he learned a, a good lesson on that one. 